Well, Bernardo is a fighter, boxer more specifically, who migrated from Puerto Rico to New York um, to try and find a better life. And his, his passion is taking care of his family, um, taking care of Maria, taking care of Anita, and um, making sure that he can also protect his community, his Puerto Rican community um, in the city. Um, how, what do I resonate with Bernardo? I resonate with, I resonate with, I guess, I never really thought about that. <laughs> I just, I just, just did it. I just did it. <laughs> <laughs> um, I feel like some similarities is his love for his family um, and also mm -hmm. his, his fighter mentality, you know, his, He's not going to give up. He's not going to just sit down and just say, I give up, I quit. Um, he's going to fight to the end. Um, and I resonate with that a lot. Um, yeah, and in terms of Riff, Riff is the leader of the Jets and uh, best friend of Tony. Um, in this story, uh, Tony was the leader of the Jets and then uh, was sent off to prison and now is back. And... Um, basically Riff's entire story in this is to try to get Tony back to be a part of this tribe, this family again. And uh, Tony wanting to be different and not wanting to go back to that toxic place and um, wanting to change and wanting to be a better person. And the conflict throughout the entire film is Riff's um, inability to recognize that uh, in Tony um, and his... Uh, lack of love, I think, of understanding uh, that this guy is wanting to do something um, better, and he sees something uh, more for himself, uh, whereas Riff doesn't. Um, um, where do I uh, relate to Riff? Uh, you know, one of the fun things about being an actor is finding those pieces that you really didn't kind of know existed. Uh, and exploring that, you know, um, tapping into different shades of your own personality and who you are. And uh, I, I honestly think, you know, for me, one of the most exciting things is, is that when you don't relate uh, at all, I, you, you can empathize, you can understand where that character is coming from. Um, and the challenge is, is to just uh, understand enough where you are that kind of person. Um, you know, that's the trick of it, is to to morph yourself, to evolve, to change yourself in order to portray that. Oh, can I start? Yeah. Okay. It was not what I had imagined it to be. I was actually very nervous going into it. I was thinking that this was going to be um, an overbearing director. Um, I thought that this was going to be uh, a Hollywood uh, production of it all, very produced. Uh, I thought that I was going to have to just kind of show up and be a prop. Um, you know, that has happened in the past, unfortunately. As an actor, yeah. you're kind of just say, hey, wear that, stand there. Um, and uh, it went totally beyond that. The truth is, is that Stephen was the most giving and kind and... Um, collaborative um, director I might have ever worked with. Uh, he let the reins off and just let me run wild. And he allowed me to step in, do the work, give him stuff to work with so he could go and morph and make this thing what it is. Uh, it, it was the best experience artistically. Yeah, um, for me, it was, I think, exactly the same. I went into it thinking that you know, Stephen was going to be this kind of director that was going to give me almost like line readings. Like, this is how I want you to say your line. This is how I want you to act. This is where I want you to walk to. And then I show up on set and he's like, all right, just do the scene. I'll be here. <laughs> and I'm like, wait, I, I have to choose everything. Like, I have to choose what I want to do with this role completely. Um, and it was scary at first, but it was also beautiful because he just gives you... This, a paper. He just gives you a blank canvas and he gives you a pencil and he says, just draw whatever you want. Just create whatever you want and then I'll see how I can mold around what you just created. 
um, which is a beautiful thing. And I think Tony Kushner is actually also kind of the same. He kind of studies you as a person and as a character, and then he he'll adapt what he's trying to say depending on what you're bringing to the table. So what I loved so much about this is that they kind of just let you do your thing and then they mold around what you've decided to create. And it was not at all what I expected. Um, and it, it, I loved that it was like that because it makes you grow as an artist and it makes you have to trust yourself and, and believe in yourself. Um, so it was perfect. It couldn't have been better. Stephen's fascinating in, in the sense of like, here's a guy who literally has everything, right? You know, and um, if you take, if you, if you were to take away the past movies that he has done, the accolades, the money, the, I don't know, everything that went along with the identification of who Steven Spielberg was, um, what I witnessed and saw was uh, a person who is just chasing his joy every day. Every day he'd show up to set and just chase his joy. It starts from the top and it starts with Steven. He, he opened everyone. He, he was accepting of everyone with open arms in the sense that he didn't make you feel like oh, this is how it needs to be. He was very open to how everyone is. And since this cast was full of highly young, energetic uh, artists, it was, I think he was also excited that we were all so excited because he allowed us to be excited. And then therefore, when he saw how excited we were, he also got excited. So it was like this vicious cycle of excitement that we were feeding off of. You know, the idea of wanting to recreate anything iconic, so especially that, so iconic. Uh, you know, there's definitely trepidation that goes along with that. Um, but then, once I knew that, well, Steven, of course, and Tony Kushner were behind it, it was, it's, it's only set up for success, I think, you know. And, you know, and the whole point is not to, not to replace what is already perfection in a way you know but instead build upon it and and continue to tell that story because it is so important it's american history uh so now that we get to uh remake this movie and interpret it the way that we want to interpret it we want to make sure that we bring back the background and the culture of not just puerto ricans but also uh polish for tony and irishmen's and uh, Italian so we wanted to make sure we brought the background and and personality of all of that together in, in this movie it was such a, an amazing experience to be in a room full of all these incredible artists that's the thing about this production is that I'm I've been so fortunate to be able to to be in a room full of people who really know what they're doing they are masters in their crafts which makes it easy for me because all I have to do is trust all I have to do is just trust what, what they know how to do, listen to what they're telling me, and then try and apply their vision to my vision as well and give the best performance I can give according to that. That changed all, the whole experience because I no longer was just dancing on a stage or dancing um, in, at a Steiner studio. I was dancing in the street, you know, uh, up in Washington Heights. and. It was an incredible experience. You see people looking outside their windows from up top, uh, looking at what we were doing, and it was an incredible experience to feel all of that energy. And on top of it, just to see the scale of this production, because uh, logistically, it must have been a nightmare to be able to shoot those street scenes with all this dancing and all extras and everything, but the pr this production has been so incredible that it just, somehow everything just falls into place everything works out perfectly and you just show up as an actor you do your thing and then that's it <laughs> you know the jets have been on the brink of losing each other and so they've done everything in their power to try to just hold on to each other which is their family the only thing that they really do know and the nearest outlet and energy for them uh, happens to be the Sharks, you know, this group of uh, minorities that move in and uh, are 
growing in, popula in population and kind of what the Jets perceive as taking over. And it's a, it's a real outlet for these guys to um, bond in a, in a common a enemy, you know? And it's, it's, not, it's not for the better, but it's really the only way that the Jets uh, kind of see for, to hold on to one another. What I love about Tony Kushner is that he, he learns about you. He sees you, uh, let's say me, David Alvarez, he first sees you and he starts to think of how you connect with this character. And he'll adapt things depending on the person that's doing the role. So if another person had been doing Bernardo, he would have written a different Bernardo. So he writes for the actor that's portraying the character because uh, he gets a lot of ideas once he meets the actor that's going to portray the character. So it's a very collaborative process. Um, I was definitely familiar with it. I wouldn't say very familiar. Um, I do remember seeing it when I was a young kid back in 2009. I saw it on Broadway. Um, and I, I just, I absolutely loved it. And I remember walking out and thinking, oh, I'd like to, I'd like to do West Side Story one day. I don't know how or where, but I'd like to do it. <laughs> um, so, and then I really started to dig more into it once I got the role and I was just fascinated because there were so many intricacies and, um, and so much depth that I hadn't even been aware of before that I, you know, I was becoming aware of now. Um, so it, and it just made me fall in love more and more and more with the story to the point where even after I'm done with the whole thing, and I watch the movie, every day I discover something new about West Side Story that I didn't quite fully understand before. Um, and I think that's what's so beautiful about the story. I just wanted to snap, you know. <laughs> yeah. That was it. That's all I wanted to do. <laughs> You're a great snap. Thank you. Mm. I had a lot of practice. No, I grew up with the film. <laughs> I grew up with the film. I've seen the stage production, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, I'm familiar. <laughs> Familiar with the snaps? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 